They may be living with a number of disabilities, but this certainly doesn't mean that these vulnerable children have lost the full use of their faculties. The rendition of their school's welcome song almost moved the wife of the River State Governor, Justice Eberechi Suzetwike, to tears. Justice Suzetwike has come to the child, a special school for children with disabilities such as Down syndrome and cerebral palsy. She has come to bring help and also draw the attention of the world to the plight of these helpless and often forgotten children. They should be loved, they deserve to be loved and have their childhood protected. They should be given all the care and attention that they need so that they can grow up in good health, in, in strength and with strong minds so that they can contribute to society. She's calling for an end to the lip service being paid to the needs of these special children who also have the full potentials of being productive in life. None of them will be said not to be put to any good use because if they grow up and they take care of themselves, that will be something that they will be doing for all of us in society because they'll be relieving the society of giving care to them for all their years. From the special school, the wife of the River State Governor then proceeded to the home of the elderly. The visit was to also find a way of improving the comfort and care given to the senior citizens who were once active and contributed to the development of the society. We will do everything we can to support you because these are our parents too. They should get the maximum care that they deserve after they've gone through life and contributed to society in one way or the other. Justice Suzette Eberechi Nyesonwike was at the Potaka Children's Home where she presented cash and food items for the upkeep of the children. E. Degbo AIT News Potakat.